In ni by 1979, the people of Iran are fed up with the Shah. If you remember, under the Eisenhower administration, the CIA had staged a coup to overthrow the democratically elected leader of Iran, uh, Mossadegh, and we had replaced him with a dictator who brutally suppressed and mistreated his people, but gave Iranian oil uh, for, for next to nothing to American oil companies, and so we supported him. And by 1978, actually, uh, a, a, a group of Iranians who will rally around a radical Shiite cleric will begin a revolution. And by 1979, the Ayatollah, uh, I'm sorry, the Shah of Iran is forced to flee, and the Ayatollah Khomeini, that's him in the pictures there, uh, will become the leader of Iran. The Iranians are very angry at us because we overthrew their democratically elected government and put a dictator in place who would abuse them. And so there was lots of news footage of Iranians in Iran chanting, Death to America. When the Shah, that's the guy we had propped up, ran away from Iran, he asked to come to America. Now, in the past, we certainly would have let him, but Jimmy Carter, who was very concerned with human rights, tells the Shah, no, you can't come to America. And the Shah instead has to flee to Mexico. In Mexico, the Shah finds out that he has cancer, he has prostate cancer, and there's no facilities there that can treat him. And so Carter breaks down and allows the Shah to be seen at a New York City hospital. The Iranians respond by attacking our embassy in seizing 53 American hostages who they then offer to exchange for the Shah who they want to put on trial and almost certainly kill. And then we get in, uh, and this is how we end up in the Iranian hostage crisis. And this gripped the country. Um, I, I certainly remember this. Uh, we watched this every day. We counted the days. It went on for well over a year. Um, and and, and it, was, it was really terrible. Quick little quote from Ayatollah Khomeini, the uh, fundamentalist Shiite Muslim leader of, of Iran at the time, uh, explaining what they were up to. Then on December 27, 1979, the Soviet Union invades Afghanistan. The Soviets claimed that they had in, in reality controlled Afghanistan for a long time. They were just trying to put down some rebel elements there. Carter said it was a stepping stone for the Soviets to seize control of the Middle East oil supplies. And he puts economic sanctions on the Soviet Union. Uh, by the way, there's a great, great book called Charlie Wilson's War. Uh, here's a little quote from it. Charlie Wilson was a, 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 a congressman from Lufkin, Texas, who is uh, going to get uh, excited about this. And he is going to, by the time it's all said and done, uh, covertly divert more than a, bil uh, a billion dollars a year in weapons uh, to Afghanistan to help the Afghanis fight the Soviets uh, in a similar way to what the Chinese and the Soviets did uh, to help uh, the Vietnamese fight the Americans. Um, and, and Charlie Wilson and his war will probably play a bigger role as anything uh, in bringing down the Soviet Union. In 1980, the, the Olympics are going to be in Moscow. And Carter announces that the Americans will not be attending. Uh, and and this is, is, the purpose of this is to boycott the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. Carter withdraws his support from SALT II, uh, the nuclear missile treaty. Um, and and the, the relationship between the Soviets and the United States uh, begins to deteriorate rapidly.